During a shooting investigation, officers come in contact with a difficult suspect. And they, they threw him face down on the ground. So he has bad experience, but I tell him that you guys are just here to help with the yeah. investigation. This woman is warning officers that her husband isn't exactly friendly with cops. He's on his way there now. This one's your husband? Yeah. Uh, it's a, it's a white single cab, but it has like a gray bed and a gray hood. Officers note the description of the husband's truck. It happens to match the description of a vehicle involved in a recent shooting in the area. what are you irate for? We I just don't know what he was what he was one with me. What what he was? We just have a few questions for okay, you, okay? Ask me quest. I can talk to you. Ask me. Why don't you sit up in front of that bumper? Okay. Talk to me. Can you wait in your car, please? Huh? Can you wait in your car, please? Okay, first off, I just want... Why are you... I don't What's know why on? you... Why? I'm working at My okay. wife told me that you need to, guys that okay, you need to I, talk to me. Okay, I understand, but why are you acting like this? Because you wanna... Because I'm afraid because the last time a f***ing cow told me that time, he told me to the floor and he well, well, we're not gonna throw you to the floor. Right. If you ask me why, so I tell you the reason, okay? okay. There's, no, re there's no reason okay. to act this way. Keep your hands out of your pockets for me, okay? okay. Alright, we just have a few questions for you. Okay. In order to ask you this question, I need you to turn around. No, sir. I don't got nothing on me. I need you to turn around. I don't got nothing on me, sir. Why, why aren't you going to... We need to patch look, you down, dude. Look, it's no, going to be easy. It's going to be easy, no, sir, it's gonna be no, easy and simple if you just no, listen. Did you ask for more units? They're on their way. Just do what we're asking you to do. Okay. You're not getting back in there. You're, you're not getting back in that vehicle. What, what do you want? What do you want? Why are you being so aggressive, bro? No, no, no. But why are you want to put me the handcuffs? Why? Because look at the way you're acting. Look at the way you're, we you're acting. We can talk no, we like can't because look at you. Just have them listen to us. What do you want? What do you want? It's going to be easier. It's going to be easier if he just listens, okay? He's not under arrest right now. He needs to understand that. You're going to get tased. You're going to get tased. Hey, stop. Just stop. Make it easier. Make it easier. Make it easier. Just listen. Just listen. What do you want? What do you want from me? We're right in front of the 20 where the 33 was at. Now you need to stay over there. Stay over there! Stay over there. If you come this way, you're going in handcuffs too. Get over there and we'll explain it in a bit. Go over there. Get out of the road. I want to turn around. Get on your stomach. I want to turn around. Do it now. Stop. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it on myself. I get it on myself, sir. Turn around. Don't grab. Don't do sh. Flip over right now. Stop biting. You understand me? No. Huh? I'm just doing exactly what you did to me. What do you guys do to me? I mean, what do you guys do this to me? Because you're not listening. You could have made this easier by just listening. Okay. I got it, I got it. You see why I got it, You see why? You see why? Yeah, because you make it difficult. You see why? 
You guys can slow down now, they got him detained. Take a video! Take a video! A video of you biting my deputy? Do you want that? Huh? I don't bite my body. You didn't bite him? I saw your mouth around his arm. Oh, for what, bro? I'm asking you why. I'm asking you why. Well, why would you do this? You made it worse on yourself. You should have just cooperated. Uh, let's sign him up and we'll get our unit. Nothing. You gonna bite you? Yeah. Tell me what I do. Tell me what I do. Why do you want to put the handcuffs on me? Sandra, do you have to me? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Your arm okay? Yeah, you just bit my hand. Do you break skin? No. Yeah. Oh, I told you guys, like... But why, why does he get like that? Because he doesn't trust you guys. He doesn't have no warrants. He doesn't have stuff in his record. He's, he was at work. All right, so this is what's but going on. he just has bad luck with you guys. This is what's going on. We had a shooting up in the Mesa. Mm -hmm. Description with the white, older model Silverado. Mm -hmm. They're claiming that the owner shot them and said that was for burning their smoke shop. Smoke shop spread down. We're so told. you're taking their word. Hold on. A lot of people get mad because they come and ask for yeah. stuff. Uh-huh. Someone got shot, mm -hmm. they said the owner of the smoke shop, that they claim to be the owner of the smoke shop. Mm -hmm. So you're taking their word. Hold on. So we wanted to talk with him, mm -hmm. you know, see mm -hmm. what's going on, mm -hmm. talk to him. He doesn't want to talk to us, mm -hmm. starts getting aggressive, starts saying he's going to fight us. We're just trying to figure out what's, what's going on. He can't leave because we're investigating mm -hmm. a shooting. Someone got shot. So we're going to make sure that this side mm -hmm. lines up with the other side and we can go from there. So if he's going to start doing that, he's going to start running, start fighting. Fighting, we can't have that. You almost fell right there, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I hit the little stupid thing. I was like, boom! Uh, yeah. oh. He almost punched me in the face, but I saw that. I don't know why you kept walking away from us. Like, I tried calming him down a little bit, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you tried. Um, you doing, and then once he went back to his car, I was like, dude. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. This is a. Uh, just got bit. Passenger. Who got bit? Where? You need to get checked for that, man. He almost got punched. You got, who got punched? He almost did. I took, I took him down and he just had me in a headlock. I was telling you to tell him to relax. Let him, let us do our thing. He's, he wasn't scared. under arrest. What was he scared for? He's undocumented. It doesn't matter. That does not matter. We don't do that. We don't, we don't deport people. We don't do stuff like that. He doesn't know that. But getting charges like this could get him that way. Up. Why are you all clammy, dude? Dude, we've been out here for f ever. I try to wipe it. Your tone, dude. I try to wipe it, dude. I'm sorry. Hold on. How about that? He has my slide on him. So is this related to the other Mesa? That's what we think. So he, he was going to fight us ever since he showed up. Okay. He tried to flee in his truck. I stopped him. Okay. And then he came out and kept like backing away, just staying at a distance from us. I was like, no, dude, like we're going to have to detain him. So he kept walking around, walking around, avoiding us. We went through here and just pulled it that way. He ran this way and then ran across the street to the other side. Okay. Uh, these guys go hands on. Um, he almost punched. Uh, Gonzalez in the face. Okay. He bit Kevin in the hand. Okay. And then they were able to detain him. Okay. But they, they tackled him, they took him down the ground. Did okay. He's the one that bit this guy? Yeah. Huh? Why are you sweating? You didn't run. He got out of his car quickly. Oh, hey. As a cop, things can go from investigation to assaulting an officer just like that. This is exactly why, as a police officer, every cop knows as you're putting on that uniform, putting that body armor on, and making sure all your tools are clean and ready, most officers are thinking, I wonder what I'm going to have to deal with today. Now, back in the day, I get a call from investigate person attempted to cash a fake check at a bank. The location was Taurus Dell and Tyson in Philadelphia. I'll never forget it. As I pull up, my backup is nowhere in sight, so I'm thinking, great. This is already starting off bad. So I go in and one of the tellers motions to me in a secretive manner, that's him over there. So as I approach him without warning, the male pushes me and runs out of the bank. So I catch up to the male and right on the corner, the fight begins. He's swinging and I'm trying to get control of his hands and thank goodness all he did was get control of my right index finger. As he twisted it, I still remember the pain I felt shooting through my entire right hand. 
But good thing that I got my hand free and was able to grab my pepper spray. And let me tell you, he got a face full of that stuff. And he was still able to run another three to four blocks. But this finger, it never did heal right. By this time, other units arrived in location. But thankfully, I was trained well and was able to keep him in sight during a tiring foot pursuit but he was taken into custody. But by the way, this guy actually escaped from prison later, but thankfully they did apprehend him later. Now this case out of New Mexico, police are investigating a prior shooting and out of nowhere, as this usually happens, the male becomes combative as soon as they instruct the man to exit the vehicle. Now maybe he's had prior negative dealings with police, However, he takes it a step further, and these deputies actually have to chase him across a busy highway, and he ends up biting one of the deputies. Now, the deputies handled the situation as they should have, but as usual, this is the day in the life of a law enforcement officer. This suspect was charged with aggravated battery on an officer, battery on a peace officer, assault on a peace officer, and resisting, obstructing. We were not able to obtain details on whether or not this matter was referred to immigration and customs enforcement. He is innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Oh. Oh.